Storm Team Forecast with meteorologist Christine Ferreira. Good morning, everyone. We're coming up on 639. Let's take a live look outside. It's a beautiful start to the day. Clear skies, calm winds, perfect ingredients in place to get quite cold. Here's a live look in Hershey. 25 degrees is your temperature. Winds are calm. Those flags are standing straight down. Dew point, though, it's five. Wow, we have really dry, crisp air in place, and that's going to be the case again today. So with that dry air, sunny skies are in store for us. Hardly a cloud out there all day long. We are under the influence of high pressure today, and that's going to keep our winds at bay. Yesterday, really gusty, really chilly. Today, that's not going to be the case. 44 to 48 degrees for your highs. Tonight, we will see increasing clouds ahead of a warm front. That warm front will be edging in tomorrow morning, and it could provide some brief freezing rain at the onset of precipitation before Precipitation changes over to plain rain, so we're going to be watching our temperatures closely tomorrow morning. I think they'll be hovering right around 32 as that precipitation arrives. Mostly cloudy though in the afternoon, no threat for freezing temperatures here. 50 to 54 for your highs tomorrow. Live look at the temperatures out the door. It is 16 degrees in York County. We have 16 in Sealands Grove, 18 for Lewistown, Lancaster down to 22. Lebanon, you have 23 in Carlisle. A bit milder, little breeze there, keeping you at 26. Live look at Super Doppler 8. We don't even need it today. Hardly a cloud in the sky across the entire East Coast region, and this is due to that large area of high pressure. Check out the predictor. Big blue H right there, smack dab on top of us, giving you wall to wall sunshine today. As we head into tonight, the clouds will gradually increase as this warm front moves through the Great Lakes. I'll stop the clock for you tomorrow morning and notice that freezing rain threat in the pinks is mainly out to the west at 7 or 8 a.m., but then it moves east. So we're going to watch our temperatures closely, perhaps some brief freezing rain at the onset there before it changes over to rain. Rain doesn't last long, though. I think it's out of here before lunchtime. We'll see some breaks of sun tomorrow afternoon and highs in the 50s. Now, Saturday, this is when it really gets warm. Notice that warm front is to our north. We have this strong southerly flow. I think we could get into the upper 60s, provided we get a break or two of sun on Saturday. Sunday, though, it's going to get a little bit colder. Temperature wise today, predictor says we're in the 40s an improvement from yesterday. Tomorrow we hit the 50s and here we go into Saturday. Predictor thinks we could hit the upper 60s with that cold air waiting over New England. So what happens is the front kind of sags a little south on Sunday, that warm front up to our north. And I think that'll bring in some cooler air briefly for Sunday. Sunday's high drops to 48. Monday, Tuesday, we could be back up to 60 degrees with a chance of showers and Wednesday still mild, a little bit above average at 56. All right. It's a March go. forecast, I guess. Yeah, you know, what else? Some showers say. in there. Yeah, there isn't a whole lot to say right nah, now. We're kind of waiting <laughs> for spring to really arrive. Yeah, that's true. We still have our up and downs here, but more ups than downs and next that'll week. That will continue, too. we hope. Yeah. All right. All right, Christine.